Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're bringing you our top 15 tips and tricks inside of Microsoft Word. Before we get started with today's video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Microsoft Word. We have Office Home and Business 2021 installed on this PC currently. However, regardless of what version of Word you're using, most of these tips should still be applicable. The first tip we're gonna to bring to you guys today is quick selection. So we can do this by clicking on our mouse and by using a keyboard shortcut. Now, for example, if I double click on a word, I'm going to select the word. If I triple click one, two, three, we're gonna select the entire paragraph. If I hit control and then click, we're gonna select the entire sentence. So that's an easy way to select and modify your text in Word. The next tip that we have for you guys is the Format Painter. We have this option available here. There's also a keyboard shortcut for it. Let's say, for example, that this text here is not blue, but it's black. Let's say maybe I have a lot of these headings and I want them to all match. Well, what I can do is I can select a heading or a part of text that I want to apply other places. And I can either Control, Shift, and C to copy it or I can click the Format Painter button, and then I can go over here, and basically by selecting this, it's going to paste the format. So again, with my Format Painter selected and selecting new text, it's going to copy that over. So we call that the Format Painter. Now, in terms of the keyboard shortcut, I think I actually had it wrong. It's going to be alt Control c and alt Control v So Control alt c okay? And then I will select where I wanna paste it, Control alt and v and there we are pasting the formatting, but not the actual text. Our next tip, tip number three, is to quickly add numbers or bullet points. All we have to do is go to the Home tab here, and by clicking this little button, we can insert a bulleted list. By typing in some text and hitting Enter, we can automatically have new bullets created. And if I want to start a new line without the bullets, I can simply click this button right here. We can do the same thing with numbers by clicking up here. I could also type the number one and a period followed by space. Now, again, if I hit some text, then hit enter, it'll automatically count up in numerical order. Tip number four is to use the navigation pane. If I click on view, here we have an option for the navigation pane. So if I check this right here, I can easily click between my headings to maybe navigate my document just a little bit easier. At any time, I can go back to the view tab and uncheck to hide the navigation pane. Our next tip is to convert a PDF to Word. Here in my downloads folder, I have a PDF that I created so if I click into this, we can see we have a PDF which has non-editable text. However, if I go to File and Open inside of Word, let's go to this PC, double click, and let's click that document, and let's hit Open. At the top, I have a button to enable editing. Now Word has automatically converted our PDF into an editable text document. And if we'd like to resave this as a PDF after adjusting it, I can go to File, Save As, select our destination, click the drop down menu and change it back to a PDF. Our next tip is easy collaboration. Now this is accessible via OneDrive. So if you have documents that are being stored in OneDrive, we can easily share the link by clicking this button right here. I can then follow the prompts to upload it into OneDrive. And unfortunately my OneDrive is full at the moment, but assuming you have some space, you can then generate this link, share it with friends, and the cloud storage in this case will allow for real-time collaboration. The next tip is quickly find and replace. So if I hit Control or Command on Mac and H on the keyboard, we will be able to find and replace with. Let's say, for example, I made a common typo in my words throughout the document, and I want to replace CPU, in this case, with processor. Okay, let's go ahead and replace all and see what happens. As we can see, CPU has now been replaced with processor. The next tip that we have for you guys is split window. So if you're multitasking or editing a few areas of your document simultaneously, if we go to view here, we have access to a view called split. Now split is gonna give us the option to work independently from the two different screens. So for example, I can work on the title section here while also making edits to one of my paragraphs below. I can exit out of this at any point by going back to the view tab and hitting remove split. 
The next tip that we have for you guys is to insert tables instantly. So let me go to a blank space in my document. And if I go to insert, here we have option just like Excel to insert a table. By highlighting my mouse over the blocks here, I can choose how many rows or how many columns I would like. I can click that and now I have my table. The next tip we have for you guys is to customize our quick access toolbar. If I click this little drop down arrow, we can easily customize it with some of the common tools. For example, I might want to have read aloud or let's say undo available in my quick access toolbar. I can add or again, remove things here. So now I have undo and redo, but there are also more options than this. If I go to file and options, now we can go to the quick access toolbar and access even more tools. For example, if I want to add insert picture, I can click add and now I can see that as well in my quick access toolbar. Click OK to save changes. Next up is to track and review changes. So if I go to the review tab here and I hit track changes, now I'm essentially in a reviewing mode and anything that I edit is not a permanent edit, but rather a suggestion. So here we can see I have my suggestions and if I want to review this, I can either accept or reject this change. Let me go ahead and reject and it will revert it. This is most useful when reviewing somebody else's document, whether you're helping them to revise it, whether it's a contract that you have some requested revisions, you can easily track those changes, send the document back to them, and then they can go through in their reviewing mode to accept or reject, or even leave comments on those changes. Next up, let's go back into options. And inside of proofing, we have something called autocorrect. So basically inside of autocorrect, we can create our own custom correction. Let's say I type Indigo software on a regular basis and I wanna actually replace that with Indigo software company as a proper noun. Let's go ahead and add that. Okay, let's say that I type Indigo software. Now we can see it autocorrected that to Indigo software company. So that's a quick way that you can easily type in frequently used sentences or words without having to manually input the whole thing. Another thing we can do is remove formatting with a single keyboard shortcut. In this case, control and space. Let's try it for this hyperlink here. Control and space will remove the formatting in just the click of a button. Now, just as easily as we removed, in this case, the hyperlink, we can insert a hyperlink with control K. So control and K together. We're going to an existing file or web page, And here we have the address, which is correct. So I'll press okay. And there we can see we have our hyperlink inserted. The final tip for today is to insert screenshots. So on the insert tab, we're gonna have something called screenshots. I can basically insert a screenshot from other windows that are currently open. In this case, my file explorer and my downloads. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any video suggestions of your own, we'd love to hear what those are. Most viewer commented requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.